Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And we got the Toro STX 38 stump grinder again. I got a few more stumps uh, I wanna take down uh, before I really start working on the yard. Uh, I did uh, uh, my first video of the channel on this machine and uh, this thing is just awesome. It's so easy to operate. It's definitely a lot better than the ones that you get that you have to move with your arms back and forth. Um, and I'll just go through it real quick. Key switch, throttle. This is how you steer it. So right and left and then forward and back. This is going to uh, operate the uh, cutting wheel, okay? So you pull it back like this. It's going to raise it's going to raise that cutting wheel. If you push it down, it's going to lower it. To operate the actual uh, cutting wheel itself, there's a little safety button right here. You gotta hold this down and then pull the trigger in and hold it just like that. And then your cutting wheel will spin all the time. Uh, last video, I didn't show uh, the actual uh, cutting bits of the wheel. Uh, I went ahead and just looked at them before I started. Uh, some of them are kind of in bad shape, uh, but looks like this one right here is still pretty shiny. Might be hard to tell by the channel, but it's still pretty sharp. That might be a new one. I did notice a couple of these were loose. I don't know if it's going to make a big difference or not. Uh, but I always like to inspect them before I start and everything. There's looks like here's a new one right here. And you could definitely tell a difference of how uh, sharper it is compared to like this one. If you look real close, you can tell that one's kind of rounded off. Uh, but really it does a pretty good job. I'll get my tape measure and I'll just give you a quick measurement of that. All right, so this one is roughly uh, probably about eight and a half inches. Uh, at this biggest end and I can tell you it's not going to take long to do this one
so that's about it uh, I'm not for sure all in time but probably took like about a few minutes and if you got the ones that you got to operate with your arm back and forth it, it's gonna take you longer and it's gonna give you an extreme workout now these are just roots right here and you could chase the roots I mean you can do that all day long with a bunch of them you know but that's that's plenty low enough uh, below the ground level and everything um, it's good to have a rake because you're going to get a big pile of uh, dirt and just chips and mulch and stuff like that. So what I'll do is I'll just take a rake, not now, but I'll take a rake and rake everything back in the hole and everything. Um, but yeah, it does pretty good. Really good. I always like to, uh, when I get done with one, kind of go through here, make sure uh, I got it all and everything. Looks like a piece of he's a rock i probably hit and i didn't hear it because i got headphones on so uh yeah let's uh let's keep at it uh later on towards the end uh i got some really big ones to do i mean the diameter is probably getting close to about three feet in diameter two to three feet so really big so i'll move the camera and the stump grinder and we'll just keep on going all right, we're at the next one here. <clears throat> this one's a little bit bigger. Let's see what this one is. So this one right here is uh, at least 14 inches where I cut the tree off at. And that's looks like that's obviously the, the longest end. Uh, so it'll probably take probably just a tick longer than the first one. So uh, let's, uh, let's let that stump grinder eat. So this one right here uh, went a little bit deeper. Uh, definitely had a more um, more broader roots, you know, bigger roots that really spread out. So, but like I said, I mean, this thing is awesome. I mean, it didn't really take that long uh, to get that one out. Uh, all the rest of the ones probably for today are gonna be about that size. Uh, and then either tomorrow or the next day, um, I will make a video on the real big ones. Uh, it's starting to uh, get really cloudy. Uh, maybe some pop-up storms here in a little bit. So uh, we'll just keep on going. As you can see, this one uh, was pretty big, and this one uh, uh, took a little bit, a few more minutes more compared to the other ones. I do want to say one thing. The faster you go with this machine, like, the more you want to eat the stump up, obviously it's going to make the, uh, the, the chips and the mulch a lot bigger pieces and stuff. And it will slow the machine down and everything. Just kind of keep in mind, um, 
I'm trying to keep them small as possible uh, because I'll be sowing grass seed soon and I don't want just big pieces of of wood and stuff in here. Grass is not gonna grow on that. So I've been trying to trying to make it eat kind of slow and everything. Um, but you see there's some big pieces right there. But like I said, I mean, if you got any stumps that you have to take out and everything, don't do it by hand, you know, and don't, you know, take, even if you try to rake the dirt around the stump out and then try and uh, take a chainsaw and cut it below ground, it's really just hard on your chainsaw and the chain and everything. This is just so much easier to do. So it's going to cost you a little bit more, but I think it's a lot easier. This one right here, where I cut the tree off at, is about 15 inches. second day here of uh, more stump grinding uh, this is the biggest one that I have to do and you can tell it's about three feet in uh, diameter at the biggest end so let's get at it Thank <laughs> you. 
looks like that took probably every good about 45 minutes. Um, I mean, you can go pretty, I mean, you can get it all out, all out, but I mean, there's really no need to, I think. Um, that's probably about close to probably about 16, 18, 18 inches deep below where the, uh, probably where the grass is going to be sown. So, uh, I mean, these big, these big stumps, they go way down in there. So that's pretty good. I'm not worried about what's left here. Like I said, it's deep enough. It's really deep. And the reason why I kind of started on the backside is because I wanted to blow all this dirt and wood chips and stuff into the woods. Uh, because if you start on this side and you work your way back this way, what it'll do is that it blows all the chips over here. But as you work this way, whatever chips you have underneath the machine and stuff it'll as you work your way back it'll blow it all back out uh, in front so that's why i did not start cutting this side of the stump i started cutting on this side of the stump because this is gonna this is the backyard and stuff so i didn't want all the mulch and chunks of wood and stuff inside the, the yard so uh looks like i've got one one right there, two, and then three, and then there's a sassafras down there that's leaning pretty good. I'm gonna cut it down and take that stump out. Uh, but we'll just uh, keep on going at it.